Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the... No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door hmm. on his left to go back to the meeting room. I mean, I, I, I'm, the two of them deep I'm just going to do that again and destroy the bucket. And walk straight ahead to the opposite door. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned I love this bit. With you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Is that true? I don't know. I like yes, the bucket. I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. Now, who's driving that truck? Hey, look at that wacky line. That's my who question. Knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Now oh. this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Sad Don't again. You remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> yes, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Okay, this time we'll, we'll get rid of the bucket. We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. Man, look at this beast. A wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me, it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? I mean, honestly, yeah, kind of. Bucket destroyer does. Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Can I turn it off? Now, okay. Okay, me. we'll do it. We'll do it's it. We'll give it the bucket. Give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer Eat. will do if it can't destroy oh. your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with- I literally cannot give it the bucket. ...deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its design I'm trying. of buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like 10 personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. I'm trying. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable character. Like the adventure line or the bucket destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and. Stanley was just outright refusing, dude. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, well, I guess we'll just uh, begin the game again, I suppose, since we've seen that ending. This is my office. What's my office? Not my desk. Cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. Damn sad now. I couldn't even destroy the bucket. Maybe, maybe I really am addicted to it. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. 
Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his so, and entered the door on his left. What endings haven't I done? I've gone down the stairs, I've gone up the stairs, I've gone to the right. I think I've done pretty much everything on the right, apart from the area where I get the final figurine. I've done most things on the left, apart from going down the escape route. I haven't gone down the escape route yet. That might be the only thing I haven't done. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe? We've done the broom closet. Let's I can go back in there. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no <laughs> stairs. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But alas, no stickers. No stickers. Sad day. Okay. So we've gone... Was there anything else down? Or was it just that? I think there's only one thing when I went downstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked I think. upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. I wanted to see if it was any different if I just like did it before he said anything. The answer seems to be no. Okie dokie. So we go down the escape route next. And then I think that's it. I think. And then we'll get the figurine. I can go back up. What? Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. But the bucket said nothing. I didn't even know this was an option. What? Pressing the number three again? Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection huh. with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. You know, I don't know this it was probably in the original too, right? I don't I don't remember it. That's weird. I never even thought to go back up. I never even thought of that as an option. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Weird. A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? Yes, yes, we'll do that. We'll do that. Huh. Oh. No, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket. And the bucket said nothing. It's okay, Stanley. The bucket will understand one day. First off. Uh, now, hold on. I'm going to pause just so the narrator didn't say anything. So I want to make sure I say your name correctly. Uh, so if I say it wrong, please correct me. So, Eva Evactizen? 
I assume you, I assume a lot of people probably just call you Eva or Ava, right? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if I don't say your name correctly, but thank you very much for the follow. We really, really appreciate it. Says, hi, man. What's up? Not much. Yeah, I'm enjoying some nice Stanley Parable. How about you, my dude? How's everything going with you? And hopefully you're having an excellent, excellent day. And of course, if there's anything specific you'd like me to call you, please feel free to let me know. For the moment, though, I'm just going to push number three again. A few more times. Said Stanley, this time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He Dude, told yeah. stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Only silence. Crushed mm. by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. Uh, man, if only the bucket understood me. If only the bucket knew just how much joy pushing number three meant to me Stanley and the bucket or gave so me close they'd always been there for one another why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? the question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator he knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket to communicate fully with his dear friend surely there was a solution mustn't there be perhaps right perhaps I mean, he's not saying anything else. Okay, what if I do it again? Or is that it for the narrator? That might be it for the narrator. Maybe there is no more down this path. <laughs> said Stanley. I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. What the fuck? Okay, well, this is 100% new. All right. Interesting. So Eva says, oh, sorry, Eva says, by the way, I was looking around and came across your stream, and maybe I can help you out with your custom graphics for your channel. I appreciate it, and thank you very much. But I actually have uh, another friend that I have that's uh, going to be doing some stuff for me. I do appreciate it, though. I do very, very much appreciate the offer. I mean, regardless, if uh, you have any work that I can see, I'd like to have a look. Yeah, at least see what you can do, because I'm curious. I like seeing uh, people that are into, like, uh, graphic design and stuff like that. I enjoy seeing seeing what sort of work they do, right? I just love seeing people that are creative, really, you know? And you see so many, like, graphic artists do stream stuff. Um that uh t -t 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 what, what was i gonna say that um i don't know just just a lot of really unique and different designs what's your discord i can send my portfolio there here i will really quickly uh just whisper you my uh discord info because why not right uh da -da 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 -da. Uh, okay, there we go. Boop. Hi, right, there you go, friend. If you'd like, you can add me on Discord there. And you can, yeah, you can just show me. And I'll take a look after the stream, if that's cool. I don't want to distract too much 
from the stream. So I will gladly take a look after. For months, he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared Holy as shit, dude. ever been for anything in his life. You know, Stanley did quite the uh, quite the graphic for this. I will admit. I apologize. Give me one more momento. Uno more momento, please. Do, 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 do. All right. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. Dude, sick. How he did the pyramids. That guy looks very happy. Live. The guy who went to Mars. He looks pretty satisfied with himself. Hmm. Okay. So how many people are going to be at this conference? This is actually so weird, but so cool, dude. An evening with world peace, baby. All right. Stage door. The Stanley Parable. Stanley tonight, live on stage. What's that one? Still Stanley? What's that say? The man, the process, the myth, the legend, the parable. Stanley from the Stanley Parable tonight, live on stage. I would buy one of these as a poster. I would do it. I would gladly buy one of these as a poster. A Q&A with world's first sentient machine. I would also go to see that. Doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. How is that possible? To stage three. Ah, to stage three! Dude, sick. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. The storyteller. Stanley reveals all in his new book. Three again, three again, the Stanley story. Wow, dude, he really likes his three. What's that? Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from, your co-workers. All eyes on me, apparently. That's weird wallpaper. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, the freedom ending? Wish you were here, the freedom ending? I played the demo. A Adventure Awaits Mind Control Facility. Oh, I went to the Mind Control Facility and all I got was this lousy sticker. I like that. Alright. Okay, not bad, not bad. Should probably go up to the stage, though. Up again, down again. The Stanley story. Is that the same thing as this one? No, just three again, three again. Hmm. I guess maybe he has sequels. The dude who came up with pizza? Dude, I would actually go and see that. I want to meet the guy that came up with pizza. What's that say? Featuring... What's that say? I don't know. It's featuring something rather. What does that say? Ah, oh, featuring keynote speaker. That's it. The Lord meet and greet. Okay, there you go. See, we got there eventually. We got there eventually. Okay. All right. Well, look, okay. We can't keep the people waiting any longer, right? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, address the peeps. There was no one here. Oh. Nobody had come to the press conference to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. Presented by he Stanley. Was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure. And in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be
be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consume the space between friends. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable That's so am I, jeez. Am I so dry today? Man, so no one came to his press conference. Not even three people. I was hoping for at least three. Three, there you go. So you can see my three fingers. Hmm. Okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> that was, uh... Where everyone would be. That was really sad. just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. Hmm. Okay, so what have so what have I done there? I haven't done the escape yet. I haven't done the escape ending yet. Uh. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked. This is so weird, though. And then proceeded onward. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and yeah, entered what? the door on his left. So who, so, you know, like, why did I even find that? Like, I'm trying to think, like, who would decide to go back up the elevator? Like, that's just kind of weird. You know, like, it's one of those things where you ask yourself, who would, who would come up with that? Like, who would decide to do that? Why would I go back up the elevator three times? One time completely unprompted. indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley... But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Oh, what the fuck? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Because, yeah, like, the last one was completely unprompted. Right? Like, that, that's kind of the thing that's weirding me out a little bit, is I went up, and there was no prompt to, like, oh, well, you know, Stanley wanted to go back up, you know, do, did he maybe want to do that? And so the bucket would maybe understand him better? It's just like, no, there's nothing like that. You could have easily assumed that was the end. I don't know. That's weird. I'm one of those weird people, I guess. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door mm, that read no, we don't. Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. You know, the thing is, I don't know if it's kidding this time. I don't know if he's kidding this time. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Hopefully, we don't meet a violent death the door and painful death. Not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I mean, we point, could. Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Uh, you know, I will say that does look very ominous. We. We. Oh wait! Oh, I do remember this ending actually. Bucket? Where's my bucket? Oh, I got my bucket. Okay. Uh... As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But That's what true. is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death. This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Oh. Farewell, Stanley. Bucket. Bucket. Bucket, help. Bucket, help. Wait a minute. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed mm. violently to death. Okay. But, 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 but that's not what happened, though. 
And why do we suddenly have a female narrator? I think that was in the original too, wasn't it? I think that was. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to oh. behold. Okay, what is this? Oh, is this how we get to the museum in the original normally? I think it is. I think it might be. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge, much like a bucket itself. The human mind is frequently empty within. A cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched with and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind that may what may be challenging about the information in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? I no longer have my bucket. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? I mean, it is a very noble bucket. I really cannot lie. That's a lot of buckets. 25, well, apparently it's 25. That looks like a bit more than 25, but is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's more than 25 buckets. I'm pretty sure. A photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. That's more than 25, right? So, like, even just here. Like, okay, so even just here, like, going that one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, there's more than twenty-five buckets. Right? There has to be. Right? Right? I'm so sure that's more than twenty-five buckets. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, a bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. Hmm. You know, there is something really, really interesting about the idea of a bucket with two handles. How would that even work? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not going to be put to death for thinking about it too much. So we're going to move on. What looks to be the golden bucket? Or the OG bucket? The Inferno bucket. A replica of the Inferno bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains. No one can control a bucket. You know, there was actually a thing that happened in real life called the Bucket War, I think. Which, if you look at... You know what? I'm, I'm going to just double check here. I'm going to just see. I'm just incredibly, incredibly curious if there is such thing as the War of the Bucket. Just give me, like, one sec while I do a goog. While I do a goog, give me one second, please. Also, excuse me for your dog's barking. Uh, The War of... The bucket. Yeah, the war of the buckets. Yeah, I you know what? This actually does kind of look like that bucket. <laughs> kind of. Not quite. Not not really, I guess. Yeah, look up the war of the bucket if you're curious. It's really, really interesting and really weird and also really stupid. Because I think people, I think people did die for for a bucket. It's crazy. So that's the Inferno Bucket. Let's see, the Stress Bucket, an analogy. Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of reassurance, vulnerability, size, and strength of the bucket. Coping strategies equal holes. Rest and relaxation, doing something you enjoy, rest and relaxation. 
Stress level of water in the bucket. Hmm. Okay. The stress bucket. Presented without commentary. Yeah, I mean, that is quite the stress bucket. Put all your stress in there. Oh, okay. The cave drying. Hmm. Well, we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind. We do not know by how long. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. So, oh no, okay, so here we have a leak, right? And they're like, oh no, what do we do? And then one brings the bucket over. Then they're like, oh god. And then the, I assume they catch the water in the bucket? Yeah, right there. So now they're happy and they're probably singing that song. I'm, I'm, I don't even know that's the language. Then you have the deer, like, drinking out of the bucket. People worshipping a giant bucket. And someone carrying a bucket on a stick. Hmm. How very innovative. Okay. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Hmm. Is that true? Ah, uh, the hanging bucket. Oh. This piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. All right. Uh, do I want to go for the bucket? I think I've seen everything in this museum, right? I think I have. I think. I just want to double check. Because I don't think there's any other path this way now, because you just have that bucket there. Yeah, no, I think we've seen everything the bucket museum has to offer. So let's go ahead and see if we can grab the sky bucket. Yeah, something about that like brings out my inner my inner Neanderthal. Not gonna lie. Hearing that music. Okay, let's go for this bucket. Now can I? Now it's pretty far. I don't think I can grab it, but we're gonna damn well try, right? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, never mind. <laughs> for a second, I thought Stanley had some mad leaps, but no, I'm. Mm. Hmm, okay. Okay, sure. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Oh. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Of the ah. I don't know if resetting is, like, gives you a different ending. I assume not. It might. It might. I don't know. I assume it. I assume no, but you never know, right? You never know. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What the hell was that? Like, is that a different sound? What if I go out there? If it's different, I, if, it, if it seems the same, I can just reset it anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. Mm. He then praised the game for its insightful... Okay, well, we've, we've seen that one. We've seen that one. That one... What was that sound, though? Was that just the balloons? Wait, Stanley thought to himself. 
Am I sure that the orders or is that a bug? In? How is that possible? They never it was a bug. Sure That's possible. Mistaken. Hmm. Okay, so I've done the escape, and I think I've done all the endings then, right? Unless I can go back with the bucket. I can. Okay, let's do this one with the bucket. Yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. Yes. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's oh, dreams and wishes shit. met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, or abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Hmm. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? I mean, is this pretty intense? You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of no! Oh god, Sam's getting pissed. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... The fuck? What? What? Oh my god, Stanley. What the fuck? You did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank god you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. What the hell? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? The end is never the end is never the end. Meeting room. Perhaps he has oh my god, they all have that. Mm, I don't know about you anymore, Bucket. I'm starting to have my suspicions. Nah, go on then. Stand this bucket. The only co-worker he would ever... So have I done everything? I think mostly... Mostly. The bucket tightly to his chest right? Yeah. The door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. So now we need to go Stanley this way. The bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no... Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go nope. back to the meeting room. No. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go. Good. Said the bucket. Good. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Except this time where I jumped off. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about me doing that. Danger. Danger everywhere. It's funny, but it's true. 
I'll see if this does go to where I think it would. No, stop. Oh. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. Oh, no buckets past this no point. Buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring mm. a bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, true. If that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something uh -oh. about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, hmm? step in here for a moment. Okay. Okay, so I can't go there with the bucket, I guess. Oh. Is this a bucket? I don't know, it might be. I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply mm. right. this yes. tells us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Oh, is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a hologram Damn. In a bucket, not an actual bucket. Damn. Do I get another chance? Item two. Is this a bucket? Oh. Oh. Let's see. Ava says, thank you. I just sent you a request. Sorry for the delay. No, no worries at all, my dude. No worries at all. Uh, not a single worry, I promise. Sorry if I uh, am a bit late in responding to you as well. Been, uh, you know, as you know, going through this, right? So is this a bucket? The answer is yes. Damn. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item three. Is this a bucket? Okay, is this a bucket? Is this a bucket? <clears throat> Let's see. I think... I think... Hold on. Why is my encoding overloaded? That's what I want to know. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I, I think there's something about this portion of the game that's being being a little bit strange. Is that saying encoding overloaded, but literally none of my stuff is overloaded. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's not like it's making the stream worse, I don't think. At least if it is, I can't tell. So Is this a bucket? Yes. Correct. Yes! This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? Yes. N yes. Ah. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. It's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. I'm sorry, narrator. I mean, it looks like a bucket to me, man. I don't know. Is this a bucket? Yeah, pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure it is. Correct. 
This is a bucket. Told you. Item six. Is this a bucket? Yes. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. How is that not a bucket? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. Should be around here somewhere. Now, in case what happens if you say no to the majority of these, or if you get it actually correct, that is a bucket. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here, and I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something, and therefore nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Yes. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? I think we may have broken him. Am I a bucket? Yes. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had. <laughs> I'm afraid the bucket is <laughs> to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. I got knew what I was doing. Raise all buckets from the game entirely. Okay, here we go. No, don't do it. Don't do it. What happened? Is everything gone? Everything Why is the bucket. Wait, Everything's a bucket. Everything a bucket. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. I did. How could Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. Mm. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And okay. we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Well, now, obviously, I got to do that again, except uh, I got to... Stanley thought what? to himself. Oh, wait. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? Except they got to say no at everything. Possible. They never... St Is Stanley without the bucket really Stanley at all? No, no, surely not. How do I get there? Yeah, I went over here. Bucket tightly to his chair. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Okay, so we got to say no to everything. Don't go to the meeting. And room. then go we have to try else. to actually get it the correct. Cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. I don't know, this guy we might be done with the game today. It's gonna be kinda sad. Him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Ugh. What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket? Okay, while we go through this, I guess I'll like fiddle around on my phone again. Maybe see if I can find an interesting fact for the day. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding Interesting have facts. dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. Why is that on good so housekeeping? The impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Ah, yes, yes, yes.
Uh, random facts. Random, random number generator. That's not a random fact. Well then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios, and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Okay, so we're going to say no to everything, then we're going to try to get everything correct. Item two. Is this a bucket? No. Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Now, I don't remember what this one actually is. I don't know if this is a bucket or not. I might need to jot this down. Item three. Is this a bucket? This one might actually be a bucket. Incorrect. This yeah. is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like <laughs> okay. Not in this timeline. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. This is a bucket. See, I'm not really too sure what that's about. Item six. Is this a bucket? Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. Yes, thank you. There's nothing here. Of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Mm -hmm. Wait, True. when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? No. Not this time. Not in this timeline. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. Okay, so I, okay, so it just kind of kind of is a bit of a Any loop. Of I see. Know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? That's fair. Stanley, I can't keep oh. doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from the game entirely. I guess it doesn't matter what you pick. Okay, maybe I won't do... Maybe I won't get them all right then. Because it, it doesn't seem like it changes anything. What happened? Yeah, okay, we'll just begin the game again. Do, 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 what could it do. mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm, okay, so now we'll do it without the bucket? Because I may as well see if that if one of these endings is different without the bucket. Because I'm I'm kind of curious about something, right? I'm a little curious. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door. I don't want to get the collectible first. Because mm. this one I can do without the bucket anyway. Stanley was so bad at following directions, mm. it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, mm. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? Yes. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? 
Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Only or, sometimes. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do. That even says right there, no buckets past this point. Something beautiful. Has that always been there? Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Oh, there Stanley it is. Stanley walked through the red door. Ah, uh, I gotta pick it up. Yeah, I'll pick it up. The last Stiggly Wiggly. We got all Stiggly Wigglies. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. That I do. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. Nah, so I guess that's true. Instead, I'll just say it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Ah, uh, how much does this matter? We'll go through the blue door. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Standing I was like this bit. The red door. Not blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Do you see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed Classic. developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? No, I'm sorry, Dev. I think I put a lot of time. I'm sorry, narrator. Because I did, and in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate ah, these the strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? That'd be Skill cool. Trees? Be all right. Work with me, you've given me absolutely nothing so far. Hmm. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels like of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. No, okay, okay, we'll take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say mm. that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say about five. Ah, you see, I knew I was onto something. Yeah, you knew, you knew it, Dev. You knew it. Where did come from? How did Again, I know narrator. the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly, a calling in your gut. I really gut. didn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, Man, the voice is so good. From your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Hmm. Ah, yeah, classic. Ah, good old Neil. Skid. Nico Nacho. Hogarth. Awesome. Awesome ops. Ugh. Okay, don't wanna don't get too close to that. That's Mussolini, a dead rat. And it's me, Stanley. Hmm. Okay, I mean that is uh pretty bad, yes. No doors open, a lot of doors attempted. A lot of steps taken, a lot of endings achieved. Doors closed, the wars won, losing wars. Did you know that 21.3% of players skipped the intro sequence? Only the three per worst 3% of players chose the blue door. 98.9% .9 of players, like, I think, chose the red door. Aw, oh, man, the rats at, like, three hours, three and a half hours? Man. I really am lagging behind.